how is it almost May and I'm still wearing a jumper and a coat? I mean, by the time you watch this, it'll likely be May already. But yeah, I just can't believe it's the end of April and I'm still wrapped up in a coat. Um, but anyway, hi, uh, welcome to another vlog. Big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's vlog. We're getting a few bits done. We're trying to get myself organised. I've been trying to get myself into uh, more of a have a bit more structure day to day again um, now I'm starting to feel a bit better. I also wanted to say thank you so much for all the I had so many comments on the last vlog and I haven't replied to any of them yet I'm going to reply to some over the weekend um, I was just overwhelmed by your kindness. I know it always seems insincere when vloggers say this but it honestly meant the it honestly means the world. And yeah, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I always do this thing where I get myself ready to head out the door, then I start vlogging and talking for about 10 minutes. It keeps raining on and off, so I'm gonna take my brolly with me. This bag is great. I can fit so much in it. I mean, things get a bit lost, but I can fit lots in this bag. I love it. Yeah, so I've been doing, um, doing some bits and bobs this morning, um, as well as ordering the next couple of weeks of HelloFresh boxes. I was going to talk about them a bit later. We might as well quickly talk about them now. And then let me get my phone. So for next week, I've ordered Cajun Spiced Bass, that's right, Cajun Spiced Bass with chive dressing. We have a creamy truffle and mushroom oh, rigatoni and a Thai green curry. Actually, two of them are rapid meals. Something I like to do is order at least one rapid meal, um, which means it takes 20 minutes or less to make. It's just always handy to have something that's really quick to whip up. There's loads of meals to pick from each week, ranging from the rapid meals to veggie meals to pescatarian. The subscription is really flexible and you can pause it and continue it at any point. And then anything we particularly like, we keep the recipe cards or I keep note on my phone and you can also and look up the recipes online too. For those of you who would like to use my code, I will leave it in the description. I'll also leave, they've given me a QR code to put on the screen as well. So you can either use a QR code on the screen or use the link in the description. It will get you 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes. I'm feeling very organized. And like I said, it's nice to have a few of our meals sorted for the next week because I've said it before and I'll say it again, no matter how hard we try, we are just not one of these people the meal plan, we're terrible at it. So at least we've got half of our meals for the week sorted. I did mention it on Instagram the other week, but we finally got our hands on the cabinet that I've been dreaming about for probably a good couple of years. We've ordered it and um, it comes mid, mid June and it's gonna go right there in the corner and I can't wait. I'm going to pack my book I'm going to take myself to a coffee shop and I'm going to sit and read and that is something I have not done in a really long time and I filmed a lot of days like this when in reality I don't I don't do this that often and I, I can't remember the last time I sat and read a book by myself I've done bits and bobs this morning and then I've told myself for the rest of the afternoon I'm going to do whatever I want try and get better at structuring my week because everything's kind of just fallen apart the last few months. I'm not very good at planning my days and so I often find myself feeling overwhelmed by everything and not getting anything done. And then I think, well, I could have used that to either get, I don't know, something on my, my list of things to do done or I could have been productive in filling my own cup and making myself feel good and I've not done either. Tomorrow I'm going to be sat at my computer for the whole day, um, which is fine, happy to do that. Um, so I'm not complaining about that, it's just, that's just what tomorrow will be. So I want to get myself out today. These headphones, by the way, are Marshall. Um, I've had a few questions on them. I bought these to replace my wired ones that I've had for about 10, no, not 10 years. They're like seven, seven years. I remember having them. I definitely had them when I was pregnant. So that's a good seven years ago, maybe eight. They were falling apart, so I bought myself a new pair. These are Bluetooth, but they also do come with a cable. Yeah, they're great. The sound is great. I've had these for a few months now, and only last week did I realise I could fold them up, which makes it much easier to fit in my bag. I can leave a link to these. I really am going to stop talking now. Let's go out. Just had two giant boxes turn up, one from Amazon um, and another 
I think the, the other one just has a load of baking soda in. <laughs> They're not the most exciting deliveries, um, but I'll, I'll open those up when we get back. I know you're all dying to know what's in the pink Amazon box. Stocked up on our dish. What's it called? Washing up liquid. <laughs> we have run out of logs, and we usually have we usually have some underneath the stairs. We were well and truly stocked over the autumn winter because Doc's parents had a huge tree chopped down in their garden. It was it was so big it was starting to kill a lot of the other surrounding plants in the garden and it just got too big. There's still loads in their garden that needs to be chopped up and dried out but this has been very empty and it's annoying me. We don't usually buy logs online we usually get them locally or like i said um, over the past winter we've had them um from doug's parents and um, but usually we go somewhere local like five minutes down the road and we go to a local farm and pay for them there but just for the sake of filling this gap because this just doesn't look very nice when it's just an empty slightly grubby hole under the stairs i want to fill it up with some logs oh I'm gonna put you under the stairs, it might be a little bit dark. I'm keeping my shoes on because I need to go get Delida in about 20 minutes. I did think I'd ordered a few more than this. I guess these will do the job. That looks a little better. Delida's been running around in the garden and the sun's come out and it's actually quite, mm, I wouldn't say it's warm, warm. And it's fairly mild, so I take back what I said earlier. I'm about to make some bread. I've had a huge urge to make homemade bread for months now. And the other day, I thought, right, I'm going to give it a go. And do you know what? It worked. It actually turned out better than I thought it was going to. I have all my ingredients here. Um, the recipe that I made... Oh, where's my phone? The recipe that I use is just um, an Allison's recipe. I had a few of you ask me on Instagram why the, for the recipe, so I'll leave that in the description. It does say use 400 grams of strong wholemeal bread flour and then 100 grams of strong white bread flour. I just used 500 grams of the wholemeal flour. This time around, I just need to make sure that the bread doesn't stick to the tin. Hang on, I can't, I can't, I can't talk and measure at the same time. I have all my ingredients here. I've got wholemeal bread flour, sugar, salt, and some sachets of this quick yeast, and some butter that I've melted in the microwave. Stuck to the pan when I made it, so about a quarter of the bottom ripped off when I took it out. If any of you make bread, you know that um, you shouldn't cut into the bread straight away. You need to let it cool down before you cut into it because it can affect the overall texture of the bread and so because that had happened it was essentially like I'd already cut into it so um, it made it a little more doughy than it should have been and um, other than that it was completely edible it looked like bread and I was really impressed and um, so I'm gonna make some more for the weekend add in the flour, flour? sugar <laughs> to add in the butter and warm water and we mix it all up. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do this for about 10 minutes. I seemed to do the trick last time so um, this is me for the next 10 minutes. I have to say making your own bread is very therapeutic. We need to prove it a couple of times so I have popped it in this lightly oiled bowl. I'm going to cover it with a clean tablecloth. 
ta mm, tablecloth dishcloth last time i actually put it in the microwave it's like a little bit it's a little bit warm in there and i just thought it was probably the best place to put it so i'm gonna leave it in there until it's doubled in size the hunt for a good pair of trousers continues i ordered a few pairs to try on from mango and i thought we would try them on together this box i've already opened because this contained the bag that i was wearing earlier and i have had a little look at everything but i haven't tried anything on i've also got this bag which contains the exact same items but in a different size because i'm not too sure which size i am i have a i have a pair of jeans that i bought from mango last year and they're a size six these are a very light wash they're the high waist regular fit wide leg i don't love the look of these so i don't think i'm even going to try those on all of this stuff was in the sale i'm guessing they'll still have everything i'll link what i can i'm going to try on these khaki colored what are they they're the high waist clot loose loose fit ankle length i have a feeling these won't be ankle length on me i'm going to put a pair of shorts on so i can try these jeans on <laughs> and you not see my pants we're back got my trusty lulu aligns on i really love these so i hope they fit nicely let's bring you around so you can see me and <laughs> don't mind delilah's polar bear just on the radiator <laughs> these are feeling a little tight as always <laughs> really tight well gosh that's a little bit close isn't it really tight around my bum but then <laughs> there's a gap at the back okay i wouldn't wear these with this top i don't really wear this top out it's just it was just a comfy top to pop on underneath my jumper earlier this t-shirt is from everlane it's one of their boxy tees i've had it a long time but um it's a style that they just seem to always have if i'm right in thinking they have an offer like three for two or something on them it's so soft i forgot how soft these were before i put them on today i don't know if i'm ever going to put this mirror back in the corner over there i really like having it here but it looks strange because it's right in front of a, a window i've hit hormonal bloating territory so i don't know if today's the best day to be trying trousers on i really like these i like that i mean they feel like a jean but they look like a trouser Let's try them on in a 36, which I think is an 8 on their website. This is a good look, isn't it? My socks and shorts. They're still too tight around my bum. And just a little bit baggier everywhere else. And like, this is, this is not a good look. Like, all this extra, extra material. These are the ones I bought last year. And I never got a chance to wear them because I... I was going to get them taken up. These were 34 and these fit nicely, although that being said, these, because I'm struggling with my tummy at the moment, oh, these are tight. These have like this floral, kind of, it kind of looks tie dye but they're meant to be flowers. They're like bleached flowers. I can't tell whether to have them slightly taken up or not. And also, I'm not sure if I, if I really love the raw hem. I mean, these don't look great with socks. I mean, these are the exact same fit as well. The next size up is too big, and if I've got them taken in, they're still going to be too big around here. Okay, last pair. I really wanted to get myself a pair of cargos. I've not had a pair of cargo trousers since I was probably about 10. I just really like the idea of them. I mean, I kind of, I love that they've come back into fashion because it's a good alternative to jeans wow oh i can't even do the button i can't even do the button up these are way too tight on my hip but again they're fine on my legs this try on hasn't quite gone how i thought it was going to just realized i put my pajama bottoms in the wash mm. i do have my joggers that i could wear but from behind just i just have to make sure i don't film my um from behind because where obviously where i've sat down in them um over the last couple of years i've had them it's just worn away the fabric i am all ears for any recommendations any of you may have for brands that sell nice jeans and trousers that are a little bit more i just fit better i don't really know what my body shape is 
because I'm not completely straight up and down. My chest kind of under bust measurement is exactly the same as my hips and then my waist is about six centimeters less than that. So like I, I'm, I'm like, I'm curvy in that sense and I have a bum. Like, but <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> so why is it so difficult to find trousers that fit properly? I don't know if you can tell on camera how bad the back of these joggers look. Can you see that? It's not a great look. It's been just over an hour. Let's see how the bread is doing. I have to now knock the air out of it by kneading it a few times. This needs to prove again. This should be ready to go in the oven now. How's it looking? Ooh, I think it's ready. This goes in for 35 minutes. Lila asked to stick on a film. So we're just watching a film that we found on Netflix. Hi! Hola. Hello, Donna. <laughs> How are you doing? Got four minutes until the bread should be done. Waiting for the bread. Yeah. For the bread. Yeah. Bye. You're gonna have to eat. I can't get it out again. Oh, wow. <laughs> it smells nice. <laughs> can't get it out. <laughs> At least it smells nice. <laughs> it smells and looks nice. <laughs> do its thing and cool down we've got a teeny tiny tear here came out better than the last time at least oh no hang on we do have a casualty on this side it's just money. <laughs> thanks gorgeous i'm pretty proud of myself it's my first well this is kind of it's pretty much how my first one turned out as well i mean it was a very easy recipe um but i'm very i'm impressed with myself that i gave it a go and um and we've actually got bread. Now I want to try making some, oh, I want to make some olive bread or maybe some sweet breads. Like, mm, I don't know. What kind of bread could we make? Oh, garlic bread. Garlic bread, that's a good one. And rolls, we, get, we eat a lot of rolls. Bagels, oh, oh I want to try and make some bagels. That sounds exciting. Yeah, a little bit trickier than the bread though but we can give it a go doug's gone out for a beer and a burger this evening with cj putting the sofa back together after little one was playing with it earlier i've ordered myself some greek food i don't think it's available to watch yet but i really want to watch the last late late show which aired yesterday and i think it airs tonight but a lot later in the UK. Got myself fries and a huge halloumi salad. Hello gorgeous girl. It's actually a couple of hours later. I let this one stay up with me. Yes! You're keeping me company, haven't you? Yes. Making myself a spearmint and chamomile tea. I thought I couldn't end this vlog and not cut into... Oh, just made, just boiled enough water. I thought I couldn't not cut into the bread. I'm gonna do fluff fluff. The bread. Ooh, I'm pretty much ready for bed, but I kind of want to have some chocolate toast. <laughs> <laughs> We've already cleaned your teeth, but yes. Yeah, we can. Chocolate spread? Yes. Okay. This is definitely better than the last one. I'm going to take my hair out because it's annoying me. We're watching Jamie Oliver. Well, uh, Jamie Keep Cooking Family Fader, which he filmed during um, sort of the, hi the height of the pandemic. Oh, wow. We like watching Jamie together, don't we? Yeah. We'll watch oh, another oh, one oh, of yes. these and then go for bed for the both of us thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and thanks for letting me just film making bread and moseying around um i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next vlog